Madison. I'm new here on YouTube. I make lifestyle videos and mainly like vlogs. Um, I just started. I think this is like my sixth vlog. Um, so I'm really new. If you haven't already, you should totally hit the subscribe button down below. And you know, if you want, like the video, comment. Um, I'm off to go get some juices at my favorite juice bar here where I live. Um, and yeah, so I just wanted to hop on and say hi. And um, when I get to the juice bar, I will show you what I wind up getting. Um, it's curbside pickup though, so like I can't go in. So they're just gonna like bring it out to your car, I guess. And I've never done it before, honestly. So we'll see how it goes um but I will totally show you guys what juices I get I think I'm gonna get like a little immunity shot and um yeah so I will see you once I is my hair sticking up probably but um I will see you guys once I get to the juice bar all right Okay, so I just got my juices and I decided to get like a bunch of juices and I'll do like a little juice cleanse kind of thing. Not really a cleanse, like I'm never really into like legit doing cleanses. They just don't like work for me, but I wanted to do like a little reset and I'm like really into my beverages. I usually always have a green juice, so like, but I make them and honestly i just haven't been in the mood to make my own green juice i know it's like way cheaper and more affordable to do it that way but um i just haven't been in the mood to make my own and i need to like get back on that but um i'm a beverage girl like i have my iced coffee green juice and <laughs> my water but um yeah so i got four green ones um from this like local um juice bar that I go to it's called drought um and I'll tell you what it's what's in it um let me just I know it's like really basic but it's good like it's really 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 Sorry, it's taking forever for me to find their menu. So I think here it is. I got the greens one, which has um, apple, kale, celery, lemon, and I guess that's it. Is that really it? That's weird. Yeah, I guess that's it. So apple, kale, celery, and lemon. Then I got immunity shots. And um, I don't even know. I think this one has turmeric in it. And then this one's just their original. Oh. I'm an idiot. Well, this one has their ingredients on it. I don't think... Oh, yeah, it does have the ingredients on it. Oh, my God. So, I knew that didn't sound right. Organic chard, organic cabbage, organic apple, organic celery, organic kale, and organic lemon is in this. I'm like, that just sounds not right to me. I'm like, what? And then this one is... Uh, an immunity shot and it's just the original immunity shot I've had it before it's actually good because they put apple in it so it's organic apple organic lemon organic ginger organic cayenne pepper organic turmeric oil and oil of oregano so and then I don't know this one she's like is our special she kind of like sold it to me on the phone so I was like sure why not let's go for it um I mean we all I mean I'm into it I'm into like all the Give me all the wellness shots and health shots and whatever. So let me, ooh, I'm not gonna lie, that kinda smelled bad. All right. It's, it's not bad. 
I could like casually drink this. That's probably like, you guys are probably looking at me and you're like, you're fucking gross. But I'm gonna be honest, like, it's good. You know what it kind of tastes like? I don't even think I've ever even had a Bloody Mary, but I'm gonna tell you it tastes like a Bloody Mary. <laughs> Just cause it kind of looks like a Bloody Mary. Can you guys see? Like, kind of looks like a Bloody Mary color, right? definitely has cayenne pepper because I totally just got like you know that feeling and the ginger you could feel it like in your throat but it's really good and you know what I do I keep these little glass jars so that when I do decide to make my own shots maybe one day <laughs> um no I'm just kidding I make I don't make like immunity shots um I, I don't but I make ginger shots so I keep these little glass bottles for ginger shots and I like um how this these ginger shots are like big like look like I know it looks tiny I guess in comparison but like if you ever go to Whole Foods they're like little wellness shots are literally like this big so these are big so it's kind of nice but i'll try my juice i've had it before it's good it's very oh did you hear that it's like in my throat but um it's very like vegetable-y but that's good i think that's what i'm aiming for <laughs> but um I just wanted to show you guys my juices and then I have like three others so for the next three days I'll drink a juice every morning or like afternoon like it's 11 50 sorry I'm like drinking all my beverages <laughs> but um yeah so I'll have the green juice for the next three days or yeah three days and yeah so um know I guess um I'm gonna vlog the rest of my day obviously so when something exciting happens <laughs> or um something to say I'll be back so I'm making some dinner I don't know why my camera like moves and it's not on auto set so like someone knows why the lens like moves up and down let me know in the comments but um making pizza for dinner so what yes get away in the <laughs> oh my god so um anyway I am making some pizzas, so I use these brown rice tortillas. They're gluten free, and they're only like they're only 130 um, calories for the whole tortilla, so it's really simple. And I've never had this um, um, vegan cheese. It's dairy free, obviously, um, but I've like the mozzarella. But I've had the cheddar before. For grilled cheese and the cheddar is like really really good so I hope this one's just as good what I used to use which I know is good um, is this cheese um, it's Kite Hill Regatta cheese and um, this cheese is like really good and you can put it on pizza too it tastes like real regatta cheese um, and the weird part is though, like I don't like real regatta cheese. Like I've had it um, before, but I like the dairy-free one. Not that I eat real cheese, but um, I've had it in the past. So what else? Found the pizza sauce. So I use the like Rayo's marinara sauce and the pizza sauce. It's just the best. There's no added sugar. I mean, if you're count, I don't count calories, but there's only 40 calories in a serving, so it's really like not bad at all. It's super good. So I'm gonna cut up all the veggies, and then I'll just 
show you um, how I kind of like create the little pizza. So I'll be back. Okay, so I chopped up all my vegetables and I have kale, um, mushroom, red onion, and some fresh crushed garlic, and then a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper. So it's really simple, but that's key to making homemade pizzas is like homemade vegetable pizzas is sauteing all your vegetables um like separately and then making the like then putting it on the pizza because then the veggies don't taste as good it's like i don't know just the seasoning and letting them all like saute together really like makes it taste good um but yeah so another trick that i had is hold on let me get you guys set up i don't know how i'm gonna film this i really need to work on like um my whole i need to work on my whole um setup in the kitchen it's not really working but um i have my two tortillas but another thing that i do is i especially with vegan cheese it like melts weird like i mean i'm not sure about this one i said i not like this cheese i'm not sure it might melt great and be fine but i know with like past vegan cheeses i've tried they don't melt that great so what i always do is i um make the pizzas make the pizzas and put them in the oven um with like just the sauce and the cheese alone and let it like warm up and kind of melt before I add the veggies and then I put it back in with the veggies and let it cook for a little bit um, all together. So just adding the sauce. I mean this this is like the easiest dinner you can make because it's like I mean it does make a little bit of a mess because you have to use like um a saucepan and a tray but it's really easy like um so i'm adding the cheese wish i had some fresh uh basil but my basil plant died and i haven't been back to the store but um And another thing is always layer the sauce like it just makes it taste good i mean that's just my opinion i mean if you don't like saucy pizza then don't use a lot of sauce but so this is what they look like and i'm gonna put them in the oven i have the oven set to um, I'll put you guys up here again. So I have the oven set to like 420. I mean, it's just a random number. Maybe 450, 400, whatever. But um, I'm going to stick it in. And I'm literally going to put them in for like 10 minutes. And then I'll... My veggies are cooking. And I'm like one of those people that like love my vegetables burnt. It's like this weird thing. This will be like affecting the filming it's so funny but um so i'm gonna like get them all crispy and then i'll show you what they look like when they're like all done okay so i think the pizzas are ready for me to take them out so i'm gonna take them out yeah those look pretty good because I'm also gonna put them back in and they'll like the cheese will melt even more so now I just take the vegetables and I put them right on top of the pizza Okay, so now I'm also gonna take 
raw onion, red onion, and add it to the top too, because me and my boyfriend love onion. Like onion and garlic, we, we love it. So the more onion, the more garlic, the better in his book. So um, hopefully he won't realize that it's vegan cheese because I put so much onion and garlic on it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so that's that, and then I'm gonna add, of course, more sauce <laughs> to the top. They look like before they pee pee. Come say hi. Say hi, Bubba. I mean, look at that face. You're so pretty. Ah, pretty girl. Say hi. Oh, you gonna say hi to everyone? You're so pretty. Aw. Alright, sorry, I had to show you my dog because she's the cutest. But anyway, back to the pizzas. <laughs> um, so, this is what they look like before they go in. And then I'll show you what they look like when they're like officially done and they're really done. <laughs> I feel like I've been putting the pizzas back <laughs> in the oven like 10 million times, but I swear, this is what makes it like taste really good. And, like, it's like a legit pizza, you know? Okay, so the pizzas are done. I probably could have waited a little bit longer and like let the cheese, um, I don't mind my like ratchet ass freaking um, trays, but I only have two and it kind of is what it is for now. But um, so we could have, I could have waited a little longer to let the like top layer of the cheese melt, but it's whatever we, we need to like, eat i'm starving it's 6 30 and i'm like for some reason so hungry but um yeah so they came out really good i mean i haven't tried it yet so i'm hoping they taste good but um i just wanted but i just why is it so low like come up here like did you like what is with this camera but um i just wanted to end my vlog off here because i know um, I had a late last, a late night last night, and like I was up until like two o'clock in the morning, couldn't go to sleep. I don't know. I don't know if it was like I take melatonin at night, and I don't know if it was like an adverse reaction to the melatonin. I don't take it every night, but like last night I knew I was gonna have trouble sleeping, so I was like, I better take two melatonin. Whatever. Usually it knocks me out, like I'm out. But last night I was like literally just up and my mind was racing you know when that happens like you can't stop and it's just like you wind up spiraling and that was me last night i was like just i don't know not in a good place i picked up my kindle and i started reading and eventually i fell asleep i don't know that's usually what happens with me if i'm like getting anxious at night and i can't sleep or i'm just like restless if i start reading sometimes like an hour in i'm like a half hour usually, but like some last night it was like an hour, an hour and a half, and then I finally knocked out, and I was like, oh my god, thank god. But um, so I'm gonna end the vlog here because I had a late night last night, and I'm a grandma. I'm going to bed at like 9:30, 10. Like honestly, 11 is like, like I'm, that's a late night for me. Like, so um, I'm gonna end the vlog here. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. Um and comment down below like you know subscribe if you want and um yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow thanks again for watching